All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, doing an undrafted free agent film breakdown brought to you by Manscaped. And we're looking at Pit Edge Habakkuk Baldonado. Kind of a frustrating player, and I think that's why he went undrafted, uh, undrafted because you see the strength in his game. Like, we're going to go through the run game at the end, and he can set a nice edge, like consistently good edge. And you see some good stuff in the pass rush, but it's just not consistent not consistent and you want to see more urgency out of his game so make sure to like and subscribe to the channel uh check out all the other breakdowns i think this will make 10 because we did seven of the draft picks and then uh two other udfas and uh bryce Ford wheaton and tommy devito uh and these breakdowns are brought to you by manscape the draft came and it went and the most exciting prospect was the prospect of being perfectly groomed head to toe with our friends at manscape that's right they got the beard hedger and lawnmower 4.0 they're franchise changing and especially as a combo they'll have you looking at your roster with pride get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code giants at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off plus free shipping at manscaped.com when you use code giants go from mr irrelevant to a first round pick with manscaped all right let's get into baldano though first play we're going through the pass rush and this is what i want to see him do more lined up over the right tackle this is what i want to see him become as a pass rusher Use your power. Play with urgency and use your power. See, we got some forward lean. We land our hands and work that speed to power. Not the fastest guy in the world, obviously, but work that speed to power. And you tack that inside shoulder of this right tackle, jack his ass up, bam, work inside, and you're sacking Sam Howell. I want to see more sacks of Sam Howell. For Baldon on his career. Next play, lined up over to left tackle versus West, West Virginia. They've got these wide splits, so it's a, a a big a long path to the quarterback. But this is a, this is a fine rep. Again, we got to play the edge, right? And I still think he can play with lower pad level, but get some forward lead, land your hands, and use that speed to power, drive your feet. Like, again, did he affect a quarterback on that play? No, but that's not his fault. He did a solid job on it. Here, next play lined up over the right tackle. Again, working this meat hook. Again, you got you to gotta play your edge, right? But solid get off. You get his hips open, but you're he's never going to be a guy that's going to bend around the corner. So if you're at this point, use your power. Get that hand inside. We saw Mark Lewinsky get beat a lot on that move. And get, you know, gets a hit on the quarterback. Next play versus Tennessee. This is what I like. Yes, you have to have an edge presence. You have to try and work the corner. But when it's not working, when this little two-hand swipe doesn't work, transition into power. Lower your pad level. Get your hands and drive your feet. And we're, you know, again, we're affecting the quarterback. Next play, they got him in the stand-up gap on the inside. Get underneath this guy's pads, drive your feet, knock his ass back, and almost get a hand on the quarterback. Force, rush, rush the quarterback's play clock. Here, this is the type of stuff that frustrates me with him, though. That's a tight end. And we're going to see in the run game later that he should be working this dude. Show some urgency. Look at this get off. There's no urgency in this. Like at this point, when you see the quarterbacks pulled this, this is not a handoff. You should be lowering your pad level and driving through him. And instead it's just like almost complacency to just be there you need to fire off and you should be putting his ass straight into the quarterback Bryce Ford Wheaton our guy you know here versus UNC lined up over the left tackle just not showing the urgency you want see everyone else on the line everyone else is on the line is off going and you just kind of play into your guy, get your hands on him. Not playing with urgency. And guess what? If you played with some urgency and got underneath this guy's pads, 
you may have ran into a sack. But instead you're chasing and doing somersaults. Here, this is in, in at the six yard line, lined up over the right tackle. See everyone else? And see Baldonado? Just, he's got it in him. And again, he's football young too, which gives you some hope with him. I just want to see him play more with that. Also, you can either perfect this, line up over the right tackle, or scrap it. Because right now it's really bad. He tries to work this cross chop. And it does nothing. It's mistimed. You're not testing these guys up the up up the field to you know get around the corner. And it just takes you out of the rep. Now this is a draw play, but still. You're not doing anything on this, right? It's slow, it's early, and again, you're not testing that tackle. Here lined up over Darnell Wright. Tries to work this two hand swipe. Again over Darnell Wright. Now I like this countering back inside. But I don't like this this cross chop move. This little jump. We're not doing anything here. Either try and work the corner, get around the edge, or convert this to power. Because if you don't do all this, and instead of doing this, you redirect. You could be you could get a, a hit on the quarterback. So it's just either perfect that or, or or kind of scrap it. And I'm in the opinion of scrap it. Be a speed to power guy. Play the run. Now he does have some decent reps working the corner, mostly versus jump sets like this. Quick hands. Again, he does have active hands. Quick hands. Combative. Swipe those hands off of you. Rip through. Get flat. Get a hit on the quarterback. So, again, you got to have your edge present. So test it. You see here. Again, I guess a half sack. But even then. Get rid of this. Just use that right hand. Chop it. You don't need to do the jump. You're not Von Miller. But rip through, half sack for Baldonado. So good stuff. So when he's playing more aggressive pass sets, that's when he can get some production around the corner. But just straight like deep pass, you know, vertical sets, that's not going to happen a ton for him. All right, so let's talk about the run. He's good in the run. He's a good edge setter. And I think that's what gives him an advantage over some of the other edge depth not named Jihad Ward on the Giants is he can set an edge. Lined up here over the left tackle. I mean, we're striking, getting hands in, and it's not even the best get-off or fire-off either. We got our hips square. We're not giving up any ground. We play our gap out on the outside. Back goes in, spin out of it, help with the tackle. Well, not really, but still, good job. Here lined up on Darnell right down at the goal line. Good get-off, okay? So you see it's in there. Fire off, get inside his chest, drive your feet. Set a good edge. Tennessee, or Tennessee ends up scoring, but that's not on him, obviously. Here on the tight end, this is what I was talking about. Like, show some urgency on that pass rush rep versus the tight end. Beware the camera work on this is going to suck. But you see that strength. Land your hands. Bam. I mean, just bullies his ass. And then gets a tackle. I, like I said, bad camera work. But gets himself a nice tackle. Like, makes the play himself. Again, versus West Virginia. Draws a flag, too, on this play. See? A little cheap-ass move by the left tackle. But set the edge. Keep your hips square. Disengage. Good stuff. Cheap shot. Maybe a little bit of flop. Good acting. Here again versus the West Virginia left tackle. Now this they they throw out they screen out of this, but if they did hand this off and they had the front they wanted to run against, 
Baldano makes a play, man. Again, get off the line. Good stuff. Land your hands. Throw his ass. Use him shifting his weight. Use that shifting weight of the offensive lineman. Throw it off. We're here. We're making a tackle for a loss if they hand that ball off. Makes you wish you had the right run front. And then here versus the left tackle at UNC, Asim Richards, who I think was drafted by the Cowboys. Get into his chest, jack up his short, his pads, stay square. Our boy Marcus, Marcus McKeithen goes through his leg. Don't do that in practice at training camp. So I missed the Jalen Hyatt touchdown in these highlights. But uh, so hope you guys enjoyed. This is the last breakdown, so there won't be any new more uh, ones from this draft class or undrafted free agent class. So check out the ones if uh, if you're yearning for some, you miss some. Really do appreciate you guys. We'll we're thinking about adding some new stuff to the to the channel for the off season. We'll see. We'll test it out. See how it works. So really appreciate you guys. Um, actually, you know what? Since I'm finishing off, people complaining about the ad. Shut up. We got to make some freaking money, my man. It's a 30 second ad. All right. Justin, you can keep that or take that out. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Until then, let's go big blue.